What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Powered by Primus and in today's video we're going to be talking about everything Transformers TCG related as well as giving a little bit of a channel update. Now obviously you guys have seen I haven't had any Transformers uh, videos in a while and it's because I've been working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So today we're going to be talking about a lot of those things as well as giving you guys an in-depth sight as to what's coming up throughout this month because we have quite a bit coming to you guys throughout the month. Now the first thing I want to talk about is why there hasn't been that many Transformers TCG videos. Obviously a lot of you guys are Transformers fans and you guys are like, Jamie, you got posting magic gameplay. It's really easy for me to get digital games because I can obviously just sit down, I can play a few, I can record a few, and a lot of the other things I can't really quite show you guys yet because a lot of it hasn't gone live yet. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot more gameplay here coming soon, especially I have the first one coming out for you guys on this coming Monday, which we're also going to be playing with new ARC cards. So you guys are just start seeing a lot of the really new stuff coming out. You guys are going to start seeing a lot of the really cool interactions, some buffs for some characters, and as well as just a slew of new cards, which is going to be really, really fun to start exploring and seeing everything that people do come up with these new cards. Some other gameplay videos you guys are going to see are the Unicron Raid gameplay. We came up with the Unicron Raid, and you guys have yet to see a Unicron gameplay video. It's just been, again, really difficult for us to sit down and find the time to play that. We did play, obviously, playtest a lot of it, um, and I never kept any of that footage, obviously, other than just, like, what was playtesting purposes, and a lot of it would be really awkward to try to watch because it's just a lot of commentary. But uh, you guys are going to see a lot of the Unicron Raid. There's a lot of different decks that we had some fun with, so we we're going to re-explore the raid, as well as introduce a hard mode here soon we're obviously play testing the hard mode and it's so for those people who think that they have figured out a way to beat it we are going to introduce something new which is going to obviously shake up those players gameplays as well which is really really exciting the thing that we've been working on behind the scenes is a lot of the grammatical errors and a lot of the visual things when it comes to the cards making sure that they can be downloaded in the correct size that they have the star count on there that the you know, transparencies are correct, that the grammar is correct, there's a period at the end of things, you know, just make sure everything is really well polished. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Arc Wave 1 is going to be released on October 30th, which is pretty exciting, so you can get your Mandalorian on, and then you can get your Transformers on, which is really, really exciting. Play Transformers first. But if you want to check out all of that stuff, again, it's going to be coming out the 30th. Everything is going to be print, download, go get, I guess download and then go get printed from wherever you want, wherever you can find a printer. There's a lot of different stuff that you can do to get these cards printed. So I can probably go into that in a separate video where we can talk about all the different ways that you can go about printing them. But again, you can just go down to your local FedEx, you can go down to Walmart, Walgreens, wherever, and just get them printed in a photo place and boom, slap it in a top loader and you are ready to play. Now, if you want to keep up to date on everything that is going live with the ARC, there is a lot of cards being spoiled right now and we're going to be spoiling cards every single day all the way up until the release of the event and if you guys do want to keep up to date on everything i'm going to put a link down in the description box below where you guys can go over to the arcs facebook page and then boom you guys can join that and you guys will get to see everything that we've posted thus far and again everything that is going to be going live in the future now another fun thing that I've been working on, again behind the scenes, you guys will see this by the end of the month, but I've been working on some custom art for some things we're working on. Obviously, can't go into details about that. You guys will definitely get to see that. I did post an image to the community section the other day, so if you do want to see that image, haven't seen that image, go to the community section. You guys will get to see that picture that I did post. One of three photos that I am, or I guess three images that I'm working on, which you guys will definitely get to see for a character that a lot of people have been asking about. So that was really, really exciting, and I want to thank everyone for giving me the opportunity to be able to work on that, which is really cool, and I'm trying really hard not to let you guys down on that aspect to make it just feel like a really cool custom card, and then obviously a card that just really gets to fit into the game. So again, the Arc Wave 1 does release on October 30th, where you guys can go download, print, play, and have so much fun with all of those cards. For all of you guys who are going to go out there and test it, I just want to give a huge thank you to everybody who is going to be downloading the things. I did look at the Unicron Raid the other day, and I think we hit like close to 900 downloads for that Dropbox, which is absolutely amazing. Now, it did make some previous errors that are fully updated, so if you do want to go back and print the new updated version, that link that is in the previous video, which I will put in the link below, uh, does have all of the new and updated stuff on there. Like there was one card that was missing a period, and I think one character was missing a few stars on one of the versions. So I'm just going to make sure I go in there and clean up all that so you guys can go and reprint all of those things. 
Now, when it comes to talking about the ArcWave 1 stuff, I want to give just a few points that I think are very, very relevant, and I want you guys to try to really take into account when it comes to looking at these cards, talking about these cards, and playing with these cards. Now, me, I'm sorry, myself, Blues on Attack, Wreck and Rule, um, Mike King, Matifer, Carl Enders, Wes, we have spent so much time playtesting and developing these cards. So what I want you guys to do when, again, it comes to playing, talking about, is really look into the cards. It's very easy to look at a card and go, oh, well, this card only has this many stars, but this much health. That's ridiculous. This is broken. Really play with them or go watch videos of people playing with them or really just kind of look at all the different things that people have put into the cards. There is a new metagame. There are cards that we are trying to create to be playable. We're not just trying to create a card that people like and they're like, oh, that's kind of cool. I'll never use it, but I'm glad they put that character in the game. That wasn't our intentions. Our intentions are to create playable cards that you guys can find space in a new team, an old team, create a completely brand new deck behind it is what our main goal was. And again, there is a lot of playtesting that went into a lot of these. Again, you guys haven't seen a lot of videos on the channel because we've been doing an insane amount of playtesting, whether it's Solitaire, via Octagon, via webcam games, via home games. You know, we've had one person playtest it as a group, make changes, another playtest group. change. It's been so much playtesting and going through and wording and making sure that everything really, really fits correctly. So again, I want a huge, huge thank you to the ARC team, other than myself, obviously, for everything that we have done because god is it an insane amount of stuff oh hey we just changed this character's name now we have to go back and renumber all of our cards like oh hey you're missing a period on this oh hey now we're changing it to it's been an insane amount of stuff but it has been an extremely extremely fun ride so we are really really excited to see you guys get these cards in your hands start playing with stuff start chatting with things start posting things it's going to be really really exciting now when it comes to talking about tournaments there is some stuff that i am working on on the side again we don't have anything fully ready to show off to disclose however we are working on stuff there is going to be things for you guys to be able to do to play with these if you are looking to get into the tournament scene or you are in the tournament scene and want to do more with playing with these cards we are going to be doing some stuff related to that but again I just can't give a lot of info to that, so just make sure you are looking forward to it. And then finally, the last thing that I want to talk about when it comes to this subject is the fact that this is digital. Maybe there is a chance that something goes wrong. Someone finds some weird loophole with a card or finds a grammatical error on a card. We can always, always go back in there and edit it. So please, please, please don't think that just because you see something wrong that, oh my God, well, this is dumb. Like you're not going out and spending money on these anymore, obviously, other than printing them. You're not having to go out and buy boxes of these cards and all this other stuff. We're allowed to fix any of these at any given time. So if you do say something, please let us know. Be nice about it. Say, hey, notice this card missing this, or hey, I found this cool interaction, or hey, I found this busted interaction. Check it out. We'll always look at it. We'll play test it, we'll see what we can do about it, and then maybe we can make some changes to a card if we do feel that it is a big enough of a problem. Or maybe there's something weird and there's just some weird loophole and you're like, I don't understand that ruling anymore. We can still address stuff. So that's the really cool part, again, with digital, is that we have access to all the files. We can create, we can change, we can edit, we can do all of that good jazz. So just because you see something, don't freak out. Let us know and we'll happily take care of it. Now again, when it comes to talking about just a big channel update and a lot of things that we're going through, I'm doing a lot of that stuff. Once all of that goes live, uh, we'll be able to obviously have tons of Transformers gameplay that you guys are going to see. So be really excited about that. Again, I am going to be starting some gameplay videos on Monday. I will say that you guys are going to be seeing Trypticon with his new stratagem, which is going to be really, really fun. You guys are going to really enjoy that one, as well as some other cool stuff. And then again, while we are waiting in that process, I am still going to be doing Magic and Room Terra. Now, there are been some new people who have come in who are fans of Magic. If you are, welcome to the channel. I will be still doing some of that stuff. And then for those Room Terra fans, I will be playing Legends of Room Terra. I think I actually have a video coming out tomorrow, I think, or the day after that, which is Legends of Room Terra gameplay. They both have been ridiculously fun games for me to play, and I love card games, I love deck building. So you are going to continue to see them. This is going to kind of be the 
foreseeable future when it comes to the channel is these three main card games. Transformers obviously being the majority of it once we do get back to being able to play with the cards and having this new wave. There are tons of cards that we want to play with but you guys haven't seen so it would make things really awkward. Plus we do want to leave some stuff kind of hidden for you guys to discover yourselves which is going to be really really fun. So this is just a quick channel update. Again October 30th is going to be a really big fun day. If you're not in the ARC Facebook group I definitely suggest you guys go and jump in there so you guys can see access to all the cards for them. I know myself and Wes from Team Primus here are going to be doing a spoiler on our cards that we did design, which is really, really exciting. I don't want to go into any of it, but you guys are going to have an absolute blast with those videos and possibly even a couple of podcasts coming up here soon. It's something I want to revisit and unfortunately we haven't been able to. We're going to be getting back into it. So again, hope you guys did enjoy this channel update and I'll see you guys in the next one.